Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nukem Dukem here and welcome to Party of Sin. This is a Steam game that just got released and it's basically a puzzle game where you control the seven deadly sins. If you know it, go ahead and name it off top of your head without cheating. And you, they each have their own special abilities and you use them throughout the course to uh, solve puzzles. And you basically fight your way through hell and heaven uh, just to release these sins into the world. It has a local co-op player cooperative and up to four players and this is full control uh, controller enabled which means you can use your Xbox 360 controller and it's also open for Steam um, Steam big screen so you can play it on your uh, basically TV screen and while running on your PC at the same time so let's go ahead and get started I'll talk more about the game as we play so basically we're going to venture through hell and then uh, we play through each different levels so you play through different levels and stages, and each ha stage has its own boss. And there's about 20 levels, about 6 to 8 hours of gameplay. And they have a shop menu here, where you collect these green apples, and basically they, you can customize your avatar, like have bigger heads, or you can improve your character's ability. <laughs> so uh, I'll go get started and talk more about it. So enjoy this cutscene. Okay, so basically, I'm controlling Raph right now, and I'm using PCs, not using controllers. They suggest you play controller, but uh, I, I like PC. The handle is not bad. So basically, we're learning his second ability, which is charge, and you can break that. So we'll go ahead and break this, and then you can swipe first one, which opens this cage. Now, if you hold down space, you can jump higher, or just teaching you how to jump. Alright, let's go ahead and charge through this. Hit that, knock that. Climb here, knock these guys out. So basically, you have to fight uh, Hell and um, Angels too. So it's going to be a combination of both. Okay. Here we go, ladder. This game was developed by uh, Sharks Gaming. Oh gosh, hopefully I say it right. It's it's something. Uh, I'll get it right. Excuse me. The game was developed by Crankshaft Gaming. I don't think we need that yet. Yeah. So right here, we're gonna unlock one of our heroes. So we just got greed. <laughs> greed space is one of the sins, and the shortcut is three for me. I'm not sure what the mouse is. Okay, so you got the demons and angels fighting right now, and uh, greed special ability is that he can actually hook onto stuff. Go ahead and we'll knock this so we can get down. Um, you're gonna have to kill everyone. Angels and uh, fallen angels. There we go. Now let's go ahead and hook onto this and fly over here. Of course, you know, around the first stage it's gonna be really simple. Alright, knock this. Uh, with Breed, you can knock, you can uh, pull down an angel and uh, get rid of its wings. Alright, let's go ahead and get that. I already played about the uh, first couple of stages with this game. One second. I already played about two stages of this game and um, 
you know. So that's why I'm kind of flying through this pretty quickly. Uh, let's grab this apple. The red apples are health, the green apples are what you can buy in the shopping kit. Alright, here we go. How did we get over there? I can't remember. You know what? Hmm. You can actually grab apples too. I forgot how to get over there, but it's okay. I oh, okay, so what we have to do is switch to Wrath, knock this, and then we get Gluttony. His shortcut's number two. And uh, Gluttony, what he basically does is he, he can eat these objects right here. Oh, let's go ahead and switch to him. You can eat it, and then you can spit it out and plant it. Uh, you can use it to uh, for more height, or to put it. You usually put on these buttons, which opens these doors. Uh, what uh, Gluttony can eat enemies, and uh, while he's eating it, you regain health. So if you're low on health, I suggest you switch to Gluttony. Yeah, swallow so enemies to heal. Showing one of them like this. Yum 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 yum. <laughs> And then you can just continue fighting. Now if you spit Gluttony out too early before he devours his target, uh, the angels come back out but with the lower health depending on how much damage he's been seeing in your stomach for a while. Alright, just knock these two guys out here. So what I notice, uh, you have to clear the area most of the time in order to move on. And then they play a cutscene showing that, oh, uh, you unlock the next area. All right, let's get the next sin. So this is Envy right here. Shortcut number one, and uh, she has laser eye beam, which is pretty cool. And you use her to uh, light these torches. She can also shoot an enemy, that with their second ability. There we go. Let's go and grab some health. There we go. Show me. Okay, let's switch to Envy. So first what I'm going to do is get this apple. Green apple. There we go. Light away over here. Uh, this game is going to retail for $15 on Steam. Uh, which is not bad. Uh, it's pretty fun. If, I suggest you play with your friends. Uh, the co-op is pretty... Oh. Okay, so this is one of the puzzles. Okay. Wait, I know I'm supposed to do something. Sorry, it's been a while. It's very simple. It's Show me the money. Alright, here we go. Okay. There we go. That makes sense now. So yeah, if you have one play... A very simple game with your friends and figure puzzles out together is pretty fun. Okay, so this is our stats who we use the most. We use Wrath the most and Greed and um, Gluttony and Envy. We haven't gotten Lust or Pride or Sloth yet, but they were revealed to us. Here's your best time, total points, and how many apples we got. You can take a look at a leaderboard, the fastest player. These are a lot of these are developers and uh, press review people. I'm actually playing a press review right now. So we have three apples. Let's take a look. So, you know, Envy's Toxic Blade, more poison, laser can go through, you got Gluttony's uh, quicker devouring or his melee attack, and then, uh, you know, you got uh, Grease can turn people into gold, then you got Rest and Plant, <laughs> less seduction effects a bigger area, then less melee combo fire does more stuff, then you got Pride, and then you got Sloth, which slows stuff down, shoots through. Um, so I'm going through this fast. Uh, when, when I actually buy something, then we can take a look at more. Uh, let's go ahead and go to oops, adventure, jailbreak. All right, let's continue. Hello. Yum 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 yum. Uh oh. Ah. Fight. Oh. I think we're, oh, there's two apples over here. We're gonna have to, first we have to clear all these guys before we can do anything else. Ah, duck! Yes, you can duck and this. Oh, you know what? Here we go. Uh, one of MP's abilities if you upgrade her apples is you can 
didn't actually uh, have a shoot through an enemy. Oh. Alright, this guy should be roasted. There we go. There we go. Five points, and now we get pride. Pride is ready to go! His hot Q is gonna be Q, and then uh, he has the ability where he can charge stuff. Uh, hang on, first we have to switch to uh, Raft to move that. So what's cool about Pride is that uh, he can jump after you. You have to use his special ability, then you jump. Watch, there you go. It helps him jump further. All right, knock this. And uh, his sword can actually deflect these things, which is needed uh, later through the levels, which becomes very useful. Alright, hit this eyeball, bring down this ladder. Uh, so far, I'm having really fun games. Um, if you see me completing this fast, because, you know, like I said, I've played this already. Um, it really, there's some parts where it can get tricky and it can take you a little while. Uh, I think I already said this, it's between 6 to 8 hours depending on your speed. Uh, average. But uh, I'm pretty sure it can take some people a lot longer than that. Alright, let's go ahead and then jump here. Alright, let's get Wrath to get to our next one. Alright, Lust. <laughs> I know a lot of people struggle with this type of sin. Okay, so with Lust, you can build bridges. Here we go. Here we go ahead and get Greed. Open that. So they're showing us what Lust can do. You can jump between and then sedate them. Then you can just crack a whip. <laughs> oh man. I don't know if any of you are into that stuff, but uh, seems a little bit violent. Alright, let's go ahead and get Wrath. And now we get Sloth, the last sin. I think it's the last sin, right? Did we get them all? Okay, so Sloth's just sleepy. So Sloth basically can slow things and uh, make you move it. Okay, here we go. So, uh... <laughs> Most common people, I would say, would struggle with uh, less. Well, they struggle with all of it. Also, uh, oh, what's great about Sloth is that. Let me switch to her real quick. You can slow down the enemy, and you can also make objects lighter, so they float higher, and their attacks slow down. So, a lot of people, uh, <laughs> if you eat, like, uh, get a full stomach, you probably struggle with gluttony because you ate too much and sloth because you get a food coma and uh, you're just too lazy to do anything. We'll slow this one down. All right, then there we go. Basically, you right-click and just clears it. All right. All right, here comes the tricky one. Okay, I remember what I need to do. Okay. Activates that. There we go. Oh, I fell! Oh my gosh. Fail. Sorry, I'm wasting your guys' this time. It's okay. Oh, come on. Oh boy. I'm losing in the leaderboard. I love, uh, my favorite, uh, char uh, character in this game so far is Gluttony. He's just like, it's like hard to not like him. <laughs> you know, he's big and chubby and just full of love. <laughs> Alright, oh. Why did I grab this? Why did I grab this for again? Alright, oh yes, so I can step on here, here we go. And then we'll use Pride. There we go. Uh oh. 
All right, we're gonna have to use energy for this. Oh, that's low. Wrong one. Oh, here comes the battle. Ah! Uh, ah, uh, fire! Right, I'm gonna have to heal up. Excuse me. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, I got healed. Got healed. Oh boy. Oh boy. Excuse me. I need help. Ah! Alright, here we go. Here we go. This guy down. Here. Alright, we'll go ahead and get greed to grab these things. Did I just threw that away? Anything up here? No? Okay. Sorry, I just want to make sure I don't miss any apples. I'm pretty sure I missed one. Alright, level's complete. So I'm going to show you the shop menu and then uh, go ahead and call it. Okay, got two of the three apples leaderboard. Alright. Dude, it's like... Dude, these guys are just like running through it. It's definitely developers who've been playing this over and over. <laughs> Looks like Gluttony made it through. Alright, let's go proceed and take a look at the shop. So, I like eating, and uh, to quicker kill people, I'm just going to spend it on Gluttony's Acid. So, we go ahead and upgrade that. Okay, so less melee's combo makes her throw perfume bottles, take does more damage. Then you got Pride, more damage on his combo, more damage on his charge. Then uh, basically Sloth can shoot through and slow enemies. And basically, the first one, usually the top one is more melee damage, and the second one is better second abilities. And uh, guess what's inside? Envy uncovers uncover herself with the cardboard box. And then you got Gluttony with the fashion shirt segment. And this one's a big bobblehead. <laughs> I'll get that uh, after I get a couple of others, but it, you gotta love it. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little preview of Party of Sims. Uh, it's pretty fun. I'm having fun. I'll see you guys in part two. Alright, bye.